Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some new makeup releases that I fell in love with immediately. As soon as I used them, I was pretty much wowed. And if you watch my monthly testing hot new makeup videos, you see those instant reactions that I have. Sometimes they're instantly bad, sometimes they're instantly okay, and sometimes you see a shocked face because I'm just truly floored by how well that product is either performing quality-wise or maybe it's a skincare product or a foundation and it makes my skin look amazing right off the bat. So what I'm sharing with you today are products that I had that sort of reaction to where I just felt like, wow, this is going to be a new favorite for sure. Now at the end of every month, I do typically always have a monthly favorites and fails video. And I hesitated to do this one because I don't wanna be redundant talking about these products now and then talking about them again a couple of weeks from now. But on the other hand, I know sometimes people miss uploads, they don't watch every single video, and I really want there to be a good opportunity, at least a higher chance, of my viewers hearing about these products because I truly think they are so, so good. First up is a foundation. Well, actually, it's a BB cream, or actually, it's a BBB cream. This is the One Size Turn Up the Base BBB Cream Beauty Blur Balm, and I purchased it in the shade Medium N1. Some of you might be thinking, Risa, how do you immediately fall in love with a foundation? You've got to have a wear test. You've got to try it for several days, at least several hours, and just see how it wears on your skin. So I definitely considered that when I was choosing the products for this video, but I had to include it. Luckily, it has lived up to my expectations from that initial first application. So when I first applied this foundation, I went to Sephora, looked at all the shades, because if you've watched my videos recently, you will know that ordering foundations online hasn't gone so well for me. I continually get ones that are too light. So I went to the store and swatched some shades. I have been self tanning, so my chest and body is a lot darker than my face, so I made sure that I went in with no makeup on and I swatched it along my jawline and then onto my neck and chest and medium 1N was the winner. And I could not wait to try this foundation or BB cream because it is supposed to be, it claims to be ideal for someone with my skin type. Oily skin, large pores, texture, medium to full coverage, everything that I typically look for. This product comes in 18 shades and retails for $33. This does contain one fluid ounce of product, although I will say that it doesn't feel like it. It definitely feels like there's a lot of air in this tube and that I might go through it pretty quickly, but I don't know, it says that there's one ounce in here. Aside from the packaging, I love the product. Here is some footage of me applying this to my skin. It instantly blurred everything. I didn't use a primer. It blurred my pores, it took away the redness, it didn't cling onto any dry patches, it covered everything I need to cover, but it does not feel heavy at all. It does not feel cakey, it does not feel like it's just sitting on my skin. I will say though that if you have drier skin that this might not be ideal for you. Even though it does claim to offer all day hydration, I'm just not so sure that this level of coverage is going to be what a lot of my fellow over 40 foundation wearers are going to be drawn to. But if you do have combination to oily skin like I do, even if you are over 40 and you are looking for some decent coverage and some smoothness and a product that does last all day, even though it doesn't claim to be a 12 hour or 24 hour wear, I can get a full day out of this foundation. At the end of the day, it does not separate in my T-zone. It still looks freshly applied, which is what makes me fall in love with the foundation. I want it to perfect my skin and I want it to last all day. Now, of course, I'm just reading from the Sephora website. You can do this yourself, but I thought I would just throw this in here. The highlighted ingredients are white rose stem cells derived from the Japanese white rose known for resiliency. They quickly improve the appearance of skin tone and absorb oil over time. Skin-like treated pigments, lightweight skin mimicking technology instantly blurs and feels like your skin, which I agree, it definitely just 
meshes so beautifully with my skin. Avocado and Mango Hydro Blend boosts hydration for visibly smooth skin texture. It's also vegan and cruelty free. Okay, moving on to what I currently have on my eyes. A lot of my viewers have asked me to review M Cosmetics, and I was getting ready to place an order when I received my first PR package from the brand, and it contained their new Masterpiece Collection. And the standout products from that collection that I am just crazy about are the two neutral eyeshadow palettes. They are the Divine Skies eyeshadow palettes. Look how beautiful these are. About a week ago, I went out of town to attend an event, and in my makeup bag, I just grabbed one colorful eyeshadow palette and these two neutral palettes. And I actually used this one, which is the same one I have on today. It's called Da Vinci for my glam gala look. Like the title of this video states, I fell in love with these eyeshadow palettes immediately. From the pigmentation to the color selection, the blendability, everything about this palette just is perfection. These palettes are perfection. Except there is one, one minor thing that I personally don't love about these palettes, and it could be just me. I find them very difficult to open. I had to ask my husband to help me open them, and especially with these nails on, I really can't do it. My nail popped right off. These are press-ons, and my nail just popped right off one of the times I tried to open it myself. So I don't want to leave them open, but I kind of have been because I just struggle to open the packaging. So M Cosmetics, if anyone on your team happens to hear this, please make the packaging a little bit easier to open. Other than that, I am crazy about these and I highly, highly recommend them. And I'm not sure if I said the price yet, but they are $40 each. Okay, moving on to cheeks. If you happen to see my video from a couple of weeks ago called Products That Make Me Feel Flawless, I spoke about a Patrick Ta powder blush. I do believe I mentioned in that video that I love all Patrick Ta blushes. It's just that that particular shade was my favorite. And now I have a new favorite in this combo cream powder formula. He recently came out with, I think, three new shades of these cream blushes. What are they called, actually? They are called Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. The other new shade launches look beautiful as well, but they seemed to be very similar to the ones that came out in the bigger Patrick Top palette that I already have. So I didn't go for those. I went for She's Blushing and you know I'm a blush girl. Well, if you're familiar with me and my videos, you know I'm a blush girl. I live for blush. I cannot do my makeup without blush. And whenever I hear someone either in a video or even a makeup artist state that they're not big fans of blush, I just think, that can't be true, that can't be possible because I just love it so much. Because I love blush so much, I rarely wear the same one more than just one day. I switch off nearly every single day. But I have worn this every single day since I purchased it because these shades and this formula is truly so perfect in my opinion. As far as packaging goes, I've always liked Patrick Ta's packaging. I think it's great that he puts this little plastic cover over the cream portion. And what's interesting about Patrick and his method of using these blushes is that he will put the powder on first and then the cream. I think many of us have been taught over the years to lay down our cream products first and then set them with powder. And you can do that with this or you can do it Patrick's way, the way that I've seen him demonstrate, which is where he uses the powder first and then the cream. Or you can do it my way, which is I just take the brush and I swirl into both at the same time and then apply it to my cheeks like you see demonstrated here. If you have not tried one of these blushes from Patrick Ta, either these cream and powder duos or the powders alone, please, 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 I know they're on the pricey side, but blush can really make or break a look, I feel. Anyone who is watching this and is saying, Risa, I'm still not spending that much on a blush, I will certainly do my best to try and find a very, very close dupe. Okay, towards the beginning of the video, I mentioned how every month I do a testing hot new makeup video. 
And so far, all of the products in today's video did not appear in my February Testing Hot New Makeup video. I purchased all of these, or in the case of the M Cosmetics eyeshadows, received them after I did that video. However, this highlighter from Tarte called Rose Gold Glow did appear in that video, and my instant reaction was visible. I was clearly very impressed. I was clearly loving the tone of this rose gold shade. I feel like it gives me a very glass skin effect where it almost looks like the glow is coming from within. It does not emphasize my large pores and texture through here, which is the number one thing I look for in a highlighter. And this formula is just so silky and soft and it's long wearing. When I did that video, I wasn't sure if it was actually a new product, but it was on the display with the new products from Tarte at Ulta, and then a lot of people let me know in the comments that it was indeed a new product. And I'm thankful for that because I really did want to keep this video to new releases only. So if you are in the market for a really good new highlighter and you have a skin tone like mine, I definitely, definitely recommend you check this out. Or if you're simply a highlighter collector like I am quickly becoming, you don't want to miss out on this one because I do think it is limited edition. And the final product that I fell in love with instantly is this new lip suede from Makeup by Mario. Actually, the correct name is Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. I purchased two of the shades, Nude Suede, which is described as a light beige nude, and then I also purchased Pinky Brown, which is a neutral browned pink. Mario has really just been killing the game lately with his lip products. I cannot stop buying his lip liners. His Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums are incredible. And now he's come out with these lip suedes. And this formula truly feels like you are applying the softest, most comfortable, most feather light liquid lipstick you've ever tried. It is 100% the best I've ever tried. And I just adore both shades. I currently am wearing Pinky Brown. This is the perfect everyday nude pink with a little bit of depth. Here is a little footage of me wearing the nude suede, which I have a feeling a lot of you are going to say sort of washes me out. And I think it does too in this footage, but when I pair it with a darker smoky eye and then add a lip liner, it really does come together. And what I've also done that looks really nice is apply the nude suede in the center of my lip over the pinky brown. I do hope that Mario comes out with more shades in this product. It is free of parabens, mineral oil, and sulfates. It's also vegan and cruelty free. It contains passion fruit seed oil, which is a cold pressed emollient oil that leaves lips feeling soft and nourished. It says here it has a high content of silicone elastomer, which apparently gives a blurring effect and makes lips appear smoother and more toned. I said that about his other matte lipsticks as well, that there was something about the formula that just made my lips look so much smoother. And one thing I haven't had happen with this particular product that I do have happen with a lot of other liquid lipsticks is that I don't get sort of like a whitish little buildup. It's really unattractive. And I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about, where you get that buildup right in here or the color sort of disappears or leaves like a little... Um, discoloration in this area down here. This formula is just so good. Each one of these lip creams retails for $24 and I am really, really happy, really happy with my purchase. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed hearing about the five new makeup releases that I fell in love with instantly. As always, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what new products you've recently fallen in love with that maybe I haven't tried yet. I'm always open to trying new products because that is sort of my job. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do try to upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.